Hi, good morning everyone. Welcome to our new topic coordinators and types of coordinators. In this, first we will study about the coordinators. So, coordinator is a four-sided polygon having four sides and four vertices. A coordinator has two pairs of opposite sides, a group of four interior angles, two groups of four exterior angles, two pairs of opposite angles, four pairs of adjacent sides. Here if you saw the figure in the coordinator A, B, C, D, A, B and C, D are pair of opposite sides. Angle 1, 2, 3, 4 are interior angles. 5, 6, 7, 8 are exterior angles. 1, 3 pair of opposite angles. A, D, D, C are pair of adjacent sides. Angle 2, 3 are pair of adjacent angles and B, C and B, D are two diagonals in this. So, if we go with the sum of interior angles of the coordinator, here I have a question. The angle sum property of the coordinator can be found using the angle sum property of triangles. So, what is given to us? A coordinator A, B, C, D uh, is A plus B. If you want to verify that, uh, what is the angle sum property of the coordinator? So, that means angle A, angle B, angle C, angle D. If you add all these four angles, that must be equal to 360 degrees. That you want to verify that. If we divide this coordinator in two triangles, and you very well know that sum of the sum property of the so that means after adding measurement of two triangles, you will get sum property of the coordinator that is 360 degree. Next is sum of the exterior angle of the coordinator. You very well know that. Uh, sum of the exterior angle of any polygon is 360 degrees. So that means here if it is a coordinator, so uh, for there will be a four exterior angles and some property of exterior angle will be 360 degree. So that you want to verify. So if you check that here angle 1, angle 5, uh, angle 2, 6, 4, 8, 3, 7 or a linear pair angles. When you add all these angles, so there is 4 times 180 degree that gives you 720 degree but if you uh, subtract from 720 degree in some of interior angles so that gives you 360 degree so that means it, so that means some of the exterior angles of the coordinator is 360 degree now next is types of the coordinator so if you look at the figure so in the coordinator so there is a uh, trapezium kites isosceles trapezium palograms rectangle rhombus gear so there are the uh, almost if you see that seven types of coordinator under trapezium and uh, there is a further two subparts then two subparts and one sphere at last but in this uh, topic we will discuss trapezium isosceles trapezium kite and palogram so how what are their properties of these four coordinators so first we will discuss about the trapezium a coordinator having one pair of parallel sides is called a trapezium and some properties of the trapezium is that shows the quality of the trapezium so that means one pair of opposite side is parallel ad parallel bc adjacent angle along the node non parallel sides are supplementary that means angle a plus angle b is equal to 180 degree angle c plus angle d. if you saw in the figure adjacent angles are angle a angle b which is equal to uh, sum is 180 degree and angle c angle d sum is 180 degree the parallel sides are called base of the trapezium next is isosceles trapezium in this isosceles trapezium a trapezium in which the non parallel sides are equal if you look at the figure your non parallel sides that is uh, ab and dc that means measurement of these two sides will be equal and what are the property in this case one pair of opposite side is parallel that is ad parallel bc other pair of opposite side is equal that is ab is equal to dc and if you saw the adjacent angles along non parallel sides which are supplementary that means angle a plus angle b is equal to 180 degree and angle c plus angle d is equal to 180 degree the base angles along the parallel sides are equal if you look at the figure angle a is equal to angle d and angle b is equal to angle c because in trapezium parallel side we call it a base of the trapezium and angles lies on the base uh, are equal to each other if 
so there is a parallel sides if parallel sides are equal so base angle will be equal to each other diagonals are equal in length that is bd is equal to ac now our next question is prove that the base angle along the parallel sides of an isosceles trapezium are equal if you look at the figure here dc and eb are the base lines base sides if you saw that uh, there is a non parallel sides ad and bc so first we draw the perpendicular de draw the perpendicular from de to ab and cf perpendicular to eb to prove anything about the angle first very first step if we have two triangles we first prove the congruency of the triangle so if you look at the figure here ad is equal to bc so because we are going with the isosceles trapezium so if ad is equal to bc given de is equal to cf r2 altitude that is distance between two parallel sides and uh, angle e angle f are 90 degree each so by rhs property so these two triangles ad and bfc are congruent to equal to each other if two triangles are congruent to equal to each other all angles and measurement of all angles and all sides are equal to each other then we can say that the non parallel side e and cb of trapezium abcd are equal our next type of coordinator is kite kite is a coordinator in which two pairs of adjacent sides are equal if you look at the figure ab is equal to ad is given in your statement bc is equal to cd because these are two distinct pair of adjacent sides now diagonals if you look at the diagonals ac and bd they are intersect with each other that means each angle at the center like aob and aod boc and cod are equal to 90 degree each that means diagonal ac bisect angle a and angle c in two equal parts so for that we can say that easily angle b is equal to so in this our next question is prove that the diagonal of a kite bisect the one pair of opposite angles so how you can prove that the diagonal of a kite bisect the one pair of opposite angles so very first thing if anything is there if you have two triangles in the figure first you have to prove the congruency of these two triangles if you look at this there is two triangles we if we take i l e and i f e i l is equal to i f and f is equal to EL that is given in my question so one line is common that is EI so we can say that by triple S property these two triangles are congruent so means angles are equal if angles are equal to each other by congruent part of congruent triangle we can say that diagonal of kite bisect the angles angle I and angle E our next type of coordinator is parallelogram a coordinator in which two pairs of opposite sides which are parallel is called a parallelogram we can also define a parallelogram as a trapezium with two pairs of parallel opposite sides if you look at the properties so both the pairs of opposite sides are parallel that means if you saw the figure pq parallel to sr and ps parallel to qr both the pairs of opposite sides are also equal so that means pq is equal to sr and ps is equal to qr opposite angles are equal angle p is equal to angle r and angle s is equal to angle q so if you look at the adjacent angle that means p s q r so adjacent angles are equal to 180 degree that means angle p plus angle q is equal to 180 degree and angle q plus angle r is equal to 180 degree so angle r plus angle s is equal to 180 degree angle s plus angle p is equal to 180 degree diagonal bisects each other p o is equal to o r and s o is equal to o q we have to apply these above properties when we have to identify any angle any measurement in this parallelogram so we just first think about these properties so in this we have one theorem like that in a parallelogram how you will find that the opposite sides and opposite angles are equal condition is same if you have two triangles as given first you have to prove the congruency if congruency is proved that means all the angles and all the measurement of sides of these two congruent triangles are equal to each other so that becomes a congruent part of the congruent triangles so what you have to find in this pq is equal to rs ps is equal to rq and angle p is equal to angle r and angle s is equal to angle q 
for that if you look at the figure first you have to prove the congruency so if pq parallel sr or ps parallel qr that means angle b is equal to angle e alternate angles angle c is equal to angle d alternate angles and sq is the common side that means by esc property these two triangles are congruent if above two triangles are congruent so that means angles and sides lies in two congruent triangles are equal to each other by congruent part of the congruent triangle then our second theorem is the diagonal of parallelogram bisect each other how will you identify so if you look at the figure if i mark the angle here e b c d so that is easiest way to find the angle name so here you want to prove that p o is equal to o r and q o is equal to o s so that means you have to prove the congruency so s r is equal to p q opposite sides of parallelogram then angle a is equal to angle c angle b is equal to angle d alternate angle that means by a s c property these two triangles are congruent if these are congruent measurement of side will be equal to each other by congruent part of the congruent triangle this proves that the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other next there is my theorem is if the pair of opposite sides of quadrilateral are equal and parallel it is a parallelogram a quadrilateral pqrs in which pq is equal to rs and pq parallel rs that is given to you and you have to prove that pqrs is a parallelogram here you also first go with the um, congruency proof of the two triangles so if you look at two triangles q r s and s p q i have given the name like angles a b c d so these are alternate angles angle a is equal to angle b s r is equal to p q given in your question s q is equal to q s common side that means by s e s property these two triangles are congruent if triangles are congruent that means our uh, lines are parallel to each other angle d is equal to angle c if angle d is equal to angle c qr is equal to ps that is congruent part of congruent triangles so that means alternate interior angles if you look at these two parallel lines so angles between if triangles are congruent means angles lies within congruent triangles are equal to each other by congruent part of congruent triangle that means ps parallel qr pq parallel rs and s ps parallel qr that means pqrs is a parallelogram into this theorem we have a question if quadrilateral is given to you a b c d such that if you look at the figure angle a is equal to angle c angle b is equal to angle t will be given to you how will you prove that it is a parallelogram so first we will select a b c d that is the quadrilateral so you very well know that by angle sum property of the quadrilateral angle a plus angle b plus angle c plus angle d is equal to 360 degree so that is given in your question angle a is equal to angle c angle d is equal to angle b so you replace c d with a b so your required answer of angle a plus angle b after calculation will be 360 degree divided by 2 that becomes 180 degree if you extend cb to e and cb e forms a straight line that means angle cb a plus angle ab is equal to 180 degree so that means angle b plus angle ab is equal to 180 degree and if you just compare these two equations where uh, both angles are equal to 180 degree so angle a is equal to angle ab e and angle c is equal to angle abe both will be equal to abe so if both angles if both angles a angle e and angle c are equal to each other one, with one angle so angle a is equal to angle abe alternate angles angle c is equal to angle ab that is corresponding angles that means ab parallel cd similarly da parallel bc so we can say that abcd is a parallelogram